Welcome back to Ubad's lab and today we're going to be making and testing a dextrose rocket engine. Alright and for this uh, propellant we're going to be using a mixture of potassium nitrate uh, KNO3, um, some dextrose and sulfur. So our potassium nitrate is going to be our oxidizer for this um, and our dextrose is going to be our fuel and our sulfur is going to be our burn rate catalyst. And the ratio between our oxidizer and fuel uh, in this case is going to be 65% uh, potassium nitrate and 35% of our uh, dextrose. And um, I put that down to 28 grams of the potassium nitrate and 15 grams of dextrose. Um, to kind of match the amount that we're gonna need, but I'm um, I'm gonna have uh, definitely gonna have extra uh, more than I need to fill up the engine. So we're gonna be burning some off to the side, uh, and that'll definitely be fun. Um, and uh, two grams of sulfur, and I'm not gonna be melting this propellant together or uh, casting it into my uh, engine since I don't have much experience with that. And also, I've heard that sulfur isn't a good catalyst to use when melting or casting. Um, since there's always the chance of it uh, spontaneously catching on fire during that process. Um, uh, I hear that iron oxide is a better uh, alternative to use for that. Um, and yeah, uh, so when mixing this together, I'm going to be make sure, uh, make sure to use all plastic material, plastic uh, beaker um, and everything since um, we won't, if anything does happen, um, there's no glass flying around, uh, just to be safe. Uh, and yeah, uh, I'm excited. Let's, let's do it. All right, it's time to actually make our propellant now. And I got my, um, the reactants all measured out for our mixture. So here I'm holding the potassium nitrate, uh, 28 grams of that. And then in this beaker, I have 15 grams of the dextrose and then around 2 grams of the sulfur. And we're going to get into uh, mixing this. So I'm going to slowly add our dextrose and sulfur to our potassium nitrate. Alright. And now when mixing this, we need to be careful. Since now it is a pyrotechnic mixture, since it has a fuel and oxidizer in a proper ratio. And what I'm going to do now is mix this together with, I have, I have this sort of like uh, plastic uh, tube, tubing that I'm going to mix it with. Before I was actually mixing it with um, a glass stir rod and that was not smart. Um, people in the comments uh, pointed that out for me. And you should work with everything plastic here, so there's no there's no glass that could be uh, potentially flying around uh, with shards. So I'm gonna mix this around nice and slowly. All right, we got our uh, rocket propellant mixture all uh, mixed up now, and it's uh, ready to go. Uh, this is our dextrose, potassium nitrate, and sulfur mixture. And now I'm gonna fill up. Oh man, it just got sunny out of nowhere. It's very hot today. Uh, I'm gonna fill up our. Um, this is a test stand that I made. So it's around a four-inch PVC pipe that I cut, and um, we have a piece of wood for the platform, and this is just like a aluminum uh, aluminum tape that I found, which is pretty cool. I thought I'd just make the the wood a little more resistant on the bottom, and I sealed the PVC pipe on the bottom with this epoxy putty that I have, which I'm also going to seal the top with when I make the uh, nozzle. And now I'm going to fill this up with uh, a rocket propellant. Alright. Um, and what I'm going to do now is compress this a bit. Whew. hit the top of this it's 
skin nice and packed all right all right uh, I'm done packing all of the propellant into the engine that will fit and the rest that we have is around this much which will uh will bl bl burn that separately just on this uh, stone over here afterward but for now I'm gonna um, drill in the uh, combustion chamber for this uh, rocket engine uh, using this drill bit so right in there all right I got the drill bit on my drill now and we do it very slow kind of like this at this speed um, if you do any faster than that you run the risk of this uh, spontaneously catching on fire so right down the middle Right, it seems like I didn't uh Huh. We have a chance that maybe I didn't pack this tight enough. Let's see how much pours out here. Okay, we have a hole kind of like this uh, inside. Huh. A lot of it fell out. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, what should we do? I think I'm gonna break this all apart again and just pack it tighter most likely yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna break out all the powder and then pack it again tighter off camera uh, I'll be right back all right I uh, I repacked the engine uh, way more compact this time uh, still not the best outcome on our um, combustion chamber uh, it's, pr it's pretty good it's all right but it uh it definitely be way easier to, m to cast this honestly to melt down the entire propellant and cast it around a combustion chamber it's pretty frustrating to do it uh, in this powder form but now that we got that we're gonna I'm gonna use this uh, epoxy putty type thing I have to make a, a nozzle all right I finished making our uh, nozzle for the rocket uh, which will increase the pressure and uh, increase the thrust um, <laughs> not very good workmanship on this but yeah, this is uh this is my nozzle. I made it with this uh, epoxy putty. Uh, I think it's the Gorilla brand, and yeah, so there it is. Uh, definitely, when I start making more of these, I'll get the hang of it. But uh, hopefully, this goes well. Uh, it's almost completely hardened now, uh, and when it is, I'm gonna stick a fuse in here uh, and uh, light it up. All right. Um, since we're done uh, packing up the engine now, we can do some testing of the fuel um, out of the engine. Uh, here's all the ec extra that I have. There's uh, not much to do with it other than to burn it, since uh, storing this stuff would probably not be safe. So, we got a pile of this stuff right here. All right, and let's give this a light. Nope. There it goes. All right, that was uh, that was an interesting burn. Not the fastest burn, and also took. Oh, smells cut. It smells very sweet, actually. The the dextrose burning. Um, wasn't the wasn't the fastest burn, and also wasn't the smoothest burn. So 
uh, I don't have very high hopes for this uh, for this engine test, honestly. But we'll see how it goes. All right, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. We're actually gonna test the the rocket engine now. I'm gonna stick this fuse that I have right into the nozzle and through the combustion chamber. There we go. Alright. Woo! Alright, I'm excited. I'm gonna light this up and get out of the way. Let's see how this goes. Oh! Wow! That's producing some good thrust. Oh wow, okay. That went really well, actually. That was a... Uh... You guys couldn't see it, but... Um, since my camera was pretty zoomed in, but... Um, the cloud of the vapors that are being released from this were pretty big. And there were uh, sparks flying everywhere. That was, that was really satisfying. I'm glad this went well. Oh my god. I'm tempted to touch it, but I should definitely leave it for a bit. And it lasted way longer than I expected too. Uh, for only a four-inch uh, engine, I'm I'm actually really happy with the results of this. The burn looked pretty smooth. Um, I'll I'll look back at the footage more, but it didn't look like um, there were any uh, any sorts of uh, irregularities in the burn. Um, yeah. Wow, that turned out pretty good. Uh, one day in the future, we'll uh, I'll get some type of setup where I can uh, measure the thrust as well, some type of sc uh, scale underneath it. Oh, and that uh, that sweet the sweet smell of the dextrose uh, burning is coming now too. It's a pretty good smell, honestly. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty happy with the results of this. Um, we're going to be doing uh, way more engine testing on this channel in the future. So if you guys like this type of content, uh, please let me know in the comments down below and give this video a like. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.